You want to know what the largest creature in the 40k galaxy is? My first instinct is to say the Tyranid Biotitans. These things are titanic in scale, and were evolved specifically to be a counter to the Imperial War Titans, some of which can be over 150 meters tall. Believe it or not though, there are things even bigger than that. Next up we have the Void Whales. These things are gigantic. They float around in space and can be up to 15 kilometers long. They are normally pretty peaceful, as so long as you don't get in the way of one of their migrations. I think the only time I've actually seen these guys represented has been in the Battlefleet Gothic games. There's also this one account of a demon sighting that was large enough to literally swallow a planet. Whether or not the observer was telling the truth though, we don't really know. But we can go bigger than that! Although to be fair, this one's a little weird. If you're new to 40k, you're gonna be confused. And if you're a veteran, you're gonna say that's obvious, but it's a cop-out. And you're right, it is. But the only real answer is the Tyranids. And I mean all of them! The thing you have to understand about the Tyranids is that they're all a single organism. Every single one of them. And there are basically infinite Tyranids spread across infinite galaxies. It's one year later and I've got a quick update to make on this video. Because I've learned about a couple of other things that are also really big. First is the Unbroken Catan. These things are star gods made of pure energy. See, they were originally worshipped by the Necrons, and then the Necrons kind of sort of enslaved them. We're used to seeing pictures of them like this, but that's just a splinter of what they actually are. In their unbroken forms, the Catan, were said to be large enough to swallow suns. So they're at least as large as a star. The other thing is what is known as a Void Kraken, which is basically a giant space amoeba. It eats void whales and ships out in space. Apparently these guys reproduce by ripping off a piece of themselves and throwing it at a planet. Then that piece ends up eating all of the planet's minerals and natural resources. After the world is completely drained, it flings itself back into the void of space. The fully-fledged new Kraken. 